During this video we're going to take a look at uh, how we can connect data from InfluxDB version 1.8, not 1.8 plus. So this is the older version that doesn't support flux commands. So there's no visualization on, on InfluxDB so we have to use a terminal. We're going to link the data that we're pushing into our InfluxDB database to a visualization tool called Grafana. I have my terminal open on the left hand side and I have Grafana open here on the right hand side and this is um, connected to a Raspberry Pi and uh, we have to type in 3000 colon 3000 to open this and log in with some credentials. Once we're logged in we'll go back over to the uh, terminal and we'll type in influx to, to start uh, using the influx uh, commands. Show databases is showing that we got um, a database here called um, Zero Project. Uh, so let's uh, have a look and see if we can start adding our data source. So over in Grafana, we're going to add InfluxDB. And then um, we can give it a name. First thing you have to do is put in the, the IP address. Now I can connect from edge device to edge device but we're just doing it locally on here so we'll type in the HTTP local host colon um, 8086 that's the port for InfluxDB we'll use basic authentication and then this is the password that you use to log into um, InfluxDB with and then you need to put the database and this is why I went over here show databases so there's only one database that I've, I've got set up so we'll, we'll use that here and, and it's the same username and password that we have for our login. Once we've got that all set, we don't have to change any of the other settings, just um, save and test. And I can see here my data source is now working. So now I need to start adding my, my visualization. So in Grafana, let's maximize this. Grafana will go... Um, add a dashboard and then click a query. This is where we're going to use the SQL query language but it's built up in this table format. So up here we're going to select InfluxDB because when we set it up that was our, our connection and then measurement um, flow meter. So where does um, flow meter come from? So if I go back to here when I'm using the command within Influx, I have to tell it to, to use this database. Um, and then when I show measurements, there's my flow meter. So now I'm in the, in the right section. So we'll go back to Grafana. Um, we, we use that flow meter. And when we start looking at our values now, if I click here, select, I can see density, temperature, timestamp. So I can add density. You can see here on the screen it's just got flow meter mean because that's the aggregation so I'll, I'll call this and I can just add another uh, query now the quickest way to do that is to copy this one so duplicate and then we're just changing the density to temperature and we can change the tag and that is basically it so we're not we're not using the flux command query language it's just um, something very similar to SQL queries. I can um, save this and this will show me in real time. So there you have it, my, my data quickly linked into a Grafana. I wanted to keep it short and sweet so you could see how to, to do that. So this is with InfluxDB 1.8 or, or older versions where you haven't got the visualization um, dashboard for, for InfluxDB or no flux commands. So thanks for listening. I hope that was useful. And don't forget to, to share this uh, channel with your friends and um, hope to see you again soon.